Let's get things cooking in the kitchen this morning with a very popular sports bar right here in the Valley. This guy, Cesar Rodriguez, he is from Zips Sports Grill. We're excited to have him here. Thank you for being here on this Friday the 13th. Thanks for having us, Are you Susan? superstitious? I'm not superstitious. Not superstitious. But I, I do definitely like uh, Friday the 13th. Yeah, all right, or... well, I'm lucky because I do get to have some corn dogs this morning. <laughs> That's what you're making up for us. Thank you for being here. So how do you put this recipe together? And I know that you use a very special Frank in this recipe. Uh, we do. Um, when we rolled out our menu in the summer, we knew that we wanted to have a hot dog and a corn dog. Okay. Um, and we also knew we wanted an all beef dog. And the only name that came to mind, or the first name that came to mind, was uh, the most iconic all beef hot dog is uh, Vienna beef. All right. So that's what we're using. So that's what we're putting into this recipe. So how do you make it? Uh, so we start with the dry ingredients here. Uh, I have cornmeal, flour, uh, salt and pepper, okay. and uh, sugar. Um, the hardwood smoke flavor of the Vienna beef. Nice. Uh, we, we because you know the outside of the corn dog to me is the most important part, yes. right? I mean, yes. it has to be delicious. It has to be good, a good texture, good flavor, um, and of course, biting into the dog helps. But this is important. This is important. So how Ab many eggs? Absolutely, four eggs. Okay. Uh, we don't want to do a whole lot of mixing. Okay. Um, so all we're doing is really incorporating the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients to make a batter. Nice. So trying not to whip too much air into it. Right. Now you guys not only, like you said, you do the corn dog, but you also just do the straight up dog, right? Oh, just yes. The straight up yes. Vienna beef frank. <laughs> yes. Uh, with all the fixings that you'd like. Um, uh, right here I brought with us a little bit of relish, onions and tomatoes, nice. but you could have sauerkraut, you could have chili. Yeah, what do you put on your dog? Uh, I like chili and uh, cheese. All right, everyone is going to go nuts when I say this. I like ketchup. <laughs> okay, I didn't get any, I didn't really throw anything at me because I was like, no, you don't put ketchup on a dog, you have to have mustard. But anyway, I like sauerkraut too. That's really delicious. Okay, so the batter's finished. Batter's finished, Perfect. so we're going to put it into a container so that we can dip our hot dogs into. Nice, nice. You guys do a lot of great dishes there. This we is do. a fun place. My family and I love going to Zips. Uh, we, there's one right around the corner from our house, and we love going in there, and it's always teams. You know, you'll see little league teams, you'll see adult teams. What is, what is the flavor there at Zips? Uh, a little bit of everything. Um, we definitely are very excited about our local teams, uh, yeah. ASU, the Cardinals. For sure, um, for sure. The D-backs, the Phoenix Suns. These are bite size. Oh, I like them. I like this. A little bit smaller. Yeah, these are these are a little bit smaller because of the setup we have here. Okay. Uh, you would call these corn puppies. Oh, how cute is that? Corn puppies. So we want to get the batter all the way covered. Okay. Um, and very carefully, the setup that we have here, you could do at home. You want to do it with a heavy pot. All right. Um, and the oil should not fill more than. Uh, halfway up so that you avoid what kind of oil do you prefer? any boil over. Uh, this is a soy blend oil. Okay. Nice. Corn puppies. Those are precious. Okay. And then you just let them sit in there and do their thing, right? Right. Do you have to hold them or? Uh, just until they float a little bit. That okay. way they don't stick to the bottom. Oh, this is perfect. This is so fun. And what else are you guys doing? I know you have a lot of specials all the time. We there do. You, you could find the hot dogs and the corn dogs on special on Sundays. Okay. Uh, along with all our other great specials, uh, great happy hour. Um, and on the weekends, if you want to come in and watch your team play, mm -hmm. uh, we have great specials for How groups. How many TVs? A uh, lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. There is a lot. You can catch any game you want. And why do you like this type of Frank? What, what's, what makes the Vienna Frank special for you? It's uh, one of the only hot dogs that still uh, uses hardwood smoke. Um, so ah. it gives it a very distinct flavor. Perfect. Um, and it's family owned as we are. Oh, you guys are. You guys are. And it feels that way. Families go there and it's a lot of fun. So you want you do that, you're, look at this as the finished one. Now, the, now, on the menu, you guys have it just the, the puppies, or can we get both? Uh, we have a, a little bit larger for adults. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a good amount of food, uh, come hungry. Yes. And we also have a children's version of the plate. Oh, this is so fun. And what else do you guys feature there at Zips in addition to that? I know you brought some salads. And part, part of our new menu that we rolled out this summer, we uh, wanted to add a few salads and, uh, and a couple other things. This is our blueberry spinach salad. Ooh, That's a bit of a, nice. a superfood salad there. Okay. Uh, right next to it, uh, our chopped salad. Wings can't go wrong Wings, there. Wings, yes. Got and, a burger. Uh, th this this is the the one that we really really like. Spicy, 
Scorch Burger. Perfect. Let's give you some locations. There are 12 of them around the valley uh, for you to choose from if you want to head out with your family or your team. Uh, you can check them out. 12 Valley locations. You can go to their website, zipssportsgrills.com. And you can pick up Vienna Beef at your local grocer, Fry's, Safeway, Albertsons, and Walmart. And if you'd like more information, visit their website, viennabeef.com.